Today's video, we are covering the third house of astrology, the house of communication. It's ruled by Gemini and its planet Mercury. Your birth chart is 360 degree circle and it's divided into 12 sections called houses. The houses are based on the 24 hour earth axis, unlike the signs, which are based on the sun's yearly rotation. The 12 sections represent specific parts of your life. So you'll start at the point of origin, which is where your rising sign is or your ascendant. And that's the first house. Then you move counterclockwise. Imagine that you're on a journey and the signs are representing how you go on this journey. The points and planets are how you express yourself on this journey and the houses are where it's going to be playing out, where the energy will be focused. In this Christology video series, I'm gonna concentrate on the where, the houses, and I will cover the how, which is the signs, as well as the expressions, which is the points and planets in each of the houses, even if that house is empty in your chart. The third house on your life path begins your journey into learning, the spark of communication. You begin to establish patterns and familiarity. You may not have any placements in the third house, but an empty house doesn't indicate anything negative. Your chart is a journey of your life. And if a point happens to fall inside a particular house, it will give it more expression. There is something called a stellium, which is three or more points in a single house or a single sign. These are teammates. They tend to work together to create more emphasis on whatever point this is of your life. In this case, the third house stellium can highlight your talent and intelligence in your communication. Gemini is the native ruler of the third house, but that doesn't mean that Gemini rules your third house. So make sure you check your natal chart. There's a link in my bio for one so you can find the sign that rules your third house. Remember, your birth time will be needed to calculate it. As the house of communication, the third house indicates how you exchange thoughts and ideas. Now that you have been born and established your value, it's time to build the mind. There will be a higher value placed on how you communicate, establishing your willpower and your courage. Now that we know this part of your life journey indicates how you communicate, because it's the third house, let's look if you have any placements in this house. We'll show you your communication style. These are the planets of the third house. Sun is very social, talkative. They have a lot of friends. Their intelligence means that they need to be challenged or they may get bored. Make sure you leave enough of you to go around. Moon gives a sense of curiosity. This means they want to try new things, relationships, and learning. It's okay to slow down and digest for a moment. Mercury is at home here, and it brings extra skill to your powers of communication. You may find it easy to digest large amounts of information, and you probably speak several languages. Venus in your third house will lean towards visual communication. These are the poets, musicians, they express their appreciation for everything with words. And those passionate words can sometimes be dividing. Mars is going to give you passion to pursue your goals. You learn by arguing, but on occasion, it may come off as a bit forceful. For Jupiter, these are the deep thinkers with unlimited imagination. They learn a lot from conversing within all of their relationships. They're big picture planning. Saturn is the ideal body language expert. They are hyper vigilant and it can make them a bit shy and challenged in speaking out loud. For Uranus, it will indicate an insatiable appetite for information. This energy level can irritate those they communicate with. Neptune brings imagination to your communication. Make sure that you make time to keep yourself grounded. For Pluto in the third house, this is gonna provide a deep understanding the best at keeping secrets. Careful not to completely delete yourself by hiding so deeply. So even if you don't have any placements, you have a sign that rules your house. And the signs are how you approach this part of your life. So to find the ruler of your house, again, look at the outer ring here and look at whichever house starts at the cusp. This is how the signs of the third house use communication. Aries, that is coming in hot style, expecting direct communication from others as well. They can tend not to hold back with what they're thinking. They really like independent relationship styles. Taurus, practical and disciplined. 
Always communicating thoughts on how secure things are, including relationships. They tend to be loyal and traditional. For Gemini, who's the native ruler of the third house, this person is given intelligence and clear communication. A collector of friends, they love to learn from a variety of resources. For Cancer, this suggests lifetime of intelligence. They have a preference for subtle communication and they like to feel their way through conversation. Leo is a creative communicator. They adore playful and energy-filled interactions and they want a dynamic relationship. Virgo uses their precision in their communication. They're the per my last email placement. Cut loose a little and don't beat yourself up so much, would you? For Libras, you're analytical in your communication. You want to make sure that you're being fair and you do that in how you listen. You want the facts. Scorpio, it means mysterious communication. They believe others to be as private as they are. So once they engage in their intensity, it can be transformative for both of you. Sagittarians, they're worldly. Their thinking is intricate and idealistic. They will have a deep and wide knowledge of numerous things. Passionate and thoughtful relationships fulfill them. Capricorns are commanding and strategic in their communication. They are goal oriented and are all about checking off that to-do list. Aquarians are the friendliest and most sociable folks. They like to see how things work. It makes them very innovative. For Pisces, they use intuition to communicate and they wanna share their dreams and feelings and whatever style is best suited for you. So in summary, to help you understand better piece this together, use this sentence, my communication which is representing the third house, is influenced by my sign. And if you have a placement in that house, add focused on whatever that point is. Up next, we have the fourth house, which is the house of home and is ruled by cancer. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, cheers.